Hi everyone, I'm Elena Shi, an assistant professor of American studies and a postdoctoral fellow at the Watson Institute. And I'm so excited to be teaching a winter session course on critical approaches to global humanitarianism in Thailand. If you do a Google search, for human trafficking in Thailand, you're likely to be bombarded with images that depict Thailand's flourishing commercial red light districts. At first glance, some of these images are difficult for us to stomach. They portray young Asian women standing in public, dressed in lingerie, and engaging in different kinds of sexual labor and intimate commerce. But as much as these images disturb us, and perhaps compel us to act to stop human trafficking, they make one huge mistake, and that is to conflate all forms of sex work with human trafficking. What this means in practice is that the majority of American NGO interventions to stop human trafficking in Thailand have focused on rescuing and removing women from sex work. What they haven't done is asked sex workers whether they want to be rescued in the first place. And in my work with Thai sex worker rights organizations, they've consistently asked for rights, not rescue. Yet this is a narrative that has been consistently devalued and ignored in the global anti-trafficking movement. The winter session course that I am teaching aims to tackle this troubling paradox as just one contemporary manifestation of global humanitarianism. This course builds on a tradition of scholarship in critical development studies and in American studies on the history of US empire. And it asks one very simple question, how can global humanitarian movements be better attuned to the specific local context in which they are working? And in this case, we look specifically at Thailand. We will do this by spending three weeks together during the January winter session. The first week in Providence will be devoted to twice daily meetings where we'll cover two types of readings. The first will be an overview of scholarship in critical humanitarian studies, looking at various global industrial complexes that will help us understand the very complicated relationship between the state, market, and civil society. This theoretical background will shape how we understand the second set of readings that engage what others have written about Thailand specifically, its culture, politics, and economics, to name a few. While the course begins with an interest in human trafficking, we also look at two related issues, that of migrant labor in the deep sea fishing industry and of citizenship rights for ethnic minority people living near the Thai-Burma border. During weeks two and three, we will travel to Thailand to visit a range of activists, scholars, local and international NGOs, global governance institutions, and government officials. Most importantly, we will speak with workers and have the opportunity to ask them what has worked, what hasn't, and what they really need and want to survive within the global economy. Unfortunately, because there are only 12 spots in the class, I'm asking for a formal application from you all. Uh, I'd love it if you could submit me a one-page single-space statement documenting your interest for taking this class. In particular, I'd love for you to tell me how your academic concentration relates to the course content. You can be absolutely creative here. And tell me how your background work experience and prior travel, though you need not have any, also motivate you. You can send this statement by October 1st to my email, which is elena, E-L-E-N-A, underscore she, S-H-I-H, at brown.edu. And you can also feel free to email me if you have any other questions about the class.